Hello friends, welcome back to another video, and I'm so excited to introduce you to my newest D&D character, Marcella Forbranch, the Seder Warlock. Let's get to the journal setup, and I'll tell you a little bit more about how this character came to be. So a few months ago, my first ever D&D campaign came to a close as Lola, my forest gnome rogue turned cleric, had her last session where we defeated the bad guy, saved the world, and concluded a four-year campaign. Now that group is starting our second adventure together, which means it's time to make a new character and a new journal. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how I created this journal. It's very similar to the other ones I've created on my channel that I'll link in the description box and a little bit of what I changed, what I did differently, and how the creative process went. So as you can see, uh, I am using a printable that I have used for my other previous character journals. The printable character journal is designed by Rose from RNW, and I'll link all of the stuff in the description box about these. I really love them. They're consistent, they're clear, they're easy to read, and I've used them enough that I know where everything is. And the great thing about a printable is that I've used the same files for all of my character journals, and I'll probably be using them for many more to come, so it's a one-time investment that I'm able to use for all of my character journals that I've worked on. This video is not sponsored, but I do want to let you guys know that Rose did send me a few items to help me get started on my journaling adventure for this character. You can see that I've added a few small hand-drawn elements as well. Those are ones that I created for decorating my character pages. I've been drawing a lot more lately and I wanted to add a personal touch and I think they turned out really cute. Marcella wears glasses, so the glasses were definitely a must. I'm just working on decorating the character sheet page, which is a great time to talk a little bit about the build and how I created this character. So Marcella is a satyr, she is a Pact of the Toe Morlock, and she has the Seeker patron. The Seeker is an old unearthed arcana, meaning that it was playtest content, but it never became a fully published class. Someone on Reddit that I will link below, I don't have the Reddit post linked, but I do have the link to the homebrew sheet that was created, created a variant on it, changed a few more of the things, and my DM and I thought that it worked really well for our campaign, and so we kind of made a couple more edits just to make it fit our play style and everything. But yeah, it is a, a bit of a, a bit of a deep cut on this one, but it's really, really cool. It's all about collecting lore and information to give to your patron, and because Marcella is putting together a bestiary for her patron, I thought that it fit really thematically well. I also went with the sage background, which means that she speaks just so many languages. And we got a starting feat, which I chose linguist to give her even more languages. I think Marcella speaks seven languages at the start of the campaign, which that's, that's, you know, six more than I speak. I'm just adding in her ability scores and some of her proficiencies. She has an ability that allows her to change out one of her proficiencies on a long rest. So I think I currently have it set for deception, but it can be moved around and I just use pencil on all of these to make sure that they can be easily erased. It looks really clean and shiny right now, but I promise like all of my other journals, it starts out looking this way and a few sessions in, it's gonna have pencil marks and smudges and things scribbled in the margins all over the place. Don't worry if your journal does not look like this. I get a lot of comments saying that, oh my goodness, my journal's so messy and my writing's so messy. And I just always like to let people know, I haven't used this journal yet as of the time that you're seeing me fill it out. I have used it for our first session, but we haven't had a lot of sessions since then, so it has not gotten a ton of use yet, but it will get a lot of use and a lot of love as it goes on. As I always do when I'm creating a character, I don't usually choose my class or my background first. I like to go in and pick the story that I want to tell and the way I want to tell it and then the class and the origin and everything usually fall into place from there. And as I'm setting up my bio page, Marcella is a daughter of two adventurers. One of them is a divine soul sorcerer of the goddess that looks over the country of Aspana where the campaign is going to be set. The country of Aspana has been surrounded by a dense, thick, magical fog for 500 years, and no one has been able to cross through it 
until now. And we are going to be some of the first people that get to go through the veil and into the rest of the country for the first time in hundreds of years. Very exciting stuff. The art of Marcella that you see on the left side of the page was actually drawn by my other DM. He does a lot of art for Grey's Party, which is my Kalishtar divination wizard that I've been playing for just over a year. If you haven't seen Grey's journal tour, I'll link it up in the info card. It looks a lot different now, so let me know in the description if you guys would like an update on how Grey's journal is looking because it's a little bit fuller and I've put in a few more elements since my last update. Marcella feels like she is often in the shadow of her fathers, especially because she did not receive the sorcerer powers that one of her fathers has from the goddess. She was also born as a satyr, so she's never totally felt like she belongs within the family because of how different that she looks to her dads. Her patron is Moondrop, a unicorn that her fathers helped in an initial migration through Aspana over the years. The unicorns make their way through Aspana between the Feywilds and other destinations that they go each year, and her fathers were a huge part in helping them make the transition safely year after year. When Marcella was born, Moondrop stepped in as the godmother and actually offered to give Marcella magic powers as well, entering Marcella into her initial warlock levels, and she just entered into her warlock pact when she turned 19 quite recently. She is definitely a lot shyer than some of my other characters. She's very nervous to see the world. She doesn't quite know what she's capable of as she's still quite young. She's just kind of on the cusp of coming out of her childhood and her teenage years and learning what it's like to be on her own and be independent and have people rely on her, which is something that makes her pretty nervous. Marcella also has a emotional support familiar, a hedgehog named Thistle that helps her out with a lot of the checks that she makes when she's nervous or trying to recall lore and he helps her stay calm. Here I'm working on the inventory page and the items page. I don't have a lot in here yet because we've just started the campaign, we've only had one session, so we don't have a lot of magic items and we don't have a lot of inventory in general. And. Speaking of, it's time to start the walkthrough. So I'm using the same binder that I used for Lola. This is an old A5 planner binder that I got from Michaels a few years ago. You can see how the intro page turned out. And I've also added a few things in the pockets. I have a couple of illustrations that I've done of Marcella, some stickers from my stash, and a couple of printable items that are from the RNW printables and the printable spell cards. I also have some journaling stickers in there that I've had for quite a while and still haven't used all of. On the character sheet page, I have all of Marcella's stats written in, some of the spells that she'll be using, and her main abilities, including her languages and her bagpipe proficiency. The washi tape I've also used on these pages is also from RNW. It's really cool. It looks like flowers, but they're dice. Amazing. I drew the little tome here as well as the locket and the Polaroid on the other side as I've written in all of Marcella's personality traits, some of her initial backstory hit points, and the main things about her life. I think this page turned out really cute and I'm excited to add more to it as the adventure continues. Here is how her inventory page turned out. I added a few more of the journaling stickers from RNW as well as a little bit more washi tape. These are really cool. They are fantasy plants that have little names attached to them. So I'm excited to use the plant and animal ones throughout the book because Marcella is creating a bestiary for Moondrop and that is her tome. This is the page that magic items will be stored in. We don't have any of those yet, but hopefully soon, as well as any potions and scrolls that we come across. The journal is a blank canvas and it's going to be hopefully filled up very soon. And I did make a page to track Marcella's spells, although I'm not sure I'm going to use this as much because I do have spell cards now. But I have the spells that she knows because she is a static caster. She doesn't prepare from the class list. And of course, a little page all about Thistle, the emotional support hedgehog familiar. The cutest.
The biggest difference between my last journal and this one is that I'm using spell cards now. I'm using the retro spell cards from RNW. They look really cute and they hold all of my spells perfectly. And with that, my journal tour for Marcella Forbrandt is set up and ready for another campaign full of adventures. I can't wait to keep you updated on all of the things that Marcella gets up to. I think she's going to have some pretty cool adventures. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. I have a pretty good roster of videos planned for the rest of the summer. Some very exciting things happening that I'm really excited to get to talk to you about. You can also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Both of those links are in the description box below. And let me know in the comments below what your current D&D character is up to if you have one. I always want to hear about everybody's favorite little uh, fictional guys, so tell me all about them. Do all your info dumping in the comments always. I want to hear it all the time. And until next time, keep it magical, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye, friends!